Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Matt and we are m and World and welcome back to day 6, no sorry, day 7 of our UK staycation. And this is part 2, we are off to Sea Life Centre. That's the London Eye, but we're not going on that. Let's go to the Sea Life Centre. Woo! London baby! Alright, let's do it! Yeah, cheerio! London baby! Okay, because that's not going to get annoying. London baby! London baby! <laughs> Oh, what the hell is that? That's London, baby. And we're not alone. I'll tell you else. Who, I'll tell you who else we're with. Linda and I. Cool. This is the closest I've ever got, gotten to it. It's huge. That's what she said. <laughs> so we're not alone. We've got Zoe oh, from the British Life. Say hi. Kitchen's trying to kill us, man. <laughs> I must have been shown again. Oh, she's been killed by yep. Oh, and there's Natalie. Like a fresh mask. Oh, very, very uh, day of the dead esque. Very nice. I like it. I like fresh mask. Big Ben in the house apartment. Big Ben is undergoing construction. We're walking along the Thames towards the sea life. Let's play Spot the Vlogger. <laughs> Apparently it takes half an hour to get all the way around. One day. One day we'll try. One day. We'll be back home with. Oh yeah. And we are here. But we've got our on your passes. So we'll head. This way. Oh my. Shocks. Mickey Mouse's favourite scene. Ah, oh, boy! Matt, did you know that electric waste can emit a shock of 221 volts? I do now, I didn't before.
sea life centre doing in London. Um, I'm not going to lie, it was a little bit uncomfortable. Um, I wouldn't come during the restrictions. Uh, out of all the sea life centres, it's not my favourite, but I'm looking at the positives. I enjoyed looking at the fishies. Uh, I could have stood there for quite a while and just looking at the, the rays, to be fair. It was really, really, really good, but because it was so crowded in there, people not really, not really adhering to the rules. Well, it wasn't good, but we're looking at the, on the, the positive side. Some of it was good, but it was just a little bit too crowded. So, and poor Natalie Bass, I've got a little bit anxious. But for now, we're going to head off to the O2 for a backstage tour. I'm excited. We'll let you know how that goes. Check it out, you can actually walk across it. How cool is that? Just about to do the backstage tour at the O2. Uh, you'll see, if you go out Peninsula Square, you'll see where the Meridian Line is. It runs just past the O2. So, yeah, 365 days of the year, 52 weeks of the year, 12 months of the year. That's what all those numbers represent. If you turn the Eiffel Tower on its side, it will fit inside the O2. You get 18,000 double decker buses, stack them all up on top of each other. It's going to fit inside of this place. Turn the O2 upside down, it will take 15 minutes for Niagara Falls to fit it up. Uh -huh. No one's tested any of this, by the way, so <laughs> but that's what they tell me. Uh, the arena itself is obviously dead centre, and for a long time that was all that was here. There's now a lot of stuff, you've probably seen it as you're going around, all the different stuff they fill it up with now. So we've got the Icon Outlet, the shopping centre, that opened 2018. Uh, we've got the cinema, that's now one of the largest cinemas in Europe. They've had exhibitions here in the past, a Muhammad Ali exhibition, an Adder exhibition, Elvis exhibition, Star Wars exhibition, we've got Mamma Mia the party. An immersive theatrical dining experience. We've got this thing going over here up at the O2. Has anyone done that before? A few people have, yeah. You get to climb up onto the roof. It's pretty fun. Really so, this is the VIP corridor where all about celebrities for some of the music concerts will walk down. I feel like a sled just walking down this corridor. It's also for VIPs, you're going to upgrade your tickets. So we'll come in down there in the door. Okay. Wow. Nice. This is so cool. Uh, I'll explain. I'll explain that now. Anyone been in here before? Has anyone come into the Possibly. It was a good night. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this is one of our most exclusive bars that we've got here, that's a VIP bar. Depending on where you're sitting, uh, it means you can come in here. Like our private boxes, you can come use this bar. Well, In the past, the first, first thing you'll notice is that there's no stage. Mm -hmm. Right, so we don't actually have a stage set up here. <coughs> Uh, most times when people are coming to perform, they're on a tour, like a national or world tour, so they actually bring all of their own stuff, staging, lighting, sound, equipment, everything. Uh, we do have a stage if we need to bring it out, but more often than not, they do bring their own stuff. Also, this way it's left as a bit of a blank canvas, so then people can actually build, create, design, make, make this place look how they want to look, okay? I, um, this is awesome. Goodbye. Really, really good tour. It's surprising me, because I've seen this on TV before for the PDC dot playoff finals and it looks bigger than telly. You don't yeah. think? It, don't get me wrong, it's, it's massive. massive. It looks big, absolutely it massive. It's absolutely huge compared to on TV. What gets me is the seats right up in the gods, like I couldn't imagine sitting that high up. Have you showed them? No. Right at the very, 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 very top. Yeah. Yeah. The zoom will do it any justice. Right up there. Wow. 
four floors. Um, yeah, that's four floors up right at the very top of the ceiling. <laughs> yep. Couldn't Quite high. From the stage floor. Impressed? Very impressed. It's my face. It's huge, isn't it? Like, I couldn't imagine performing here. It was very intimidating having all these people go up and hang. Pretty much. I don't think I don't think I could be Michael Van Gogh. No. No. Oh, cool. <sighs> Amazing. How cool is this? How cool is it? It's awesome, isn't it? It's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's even blue, like it's cool. It is. Very blue. No one no one else, we probably have the cheap seats up there. Couldn't afford uh, the expensive boxes. So they're all boxes along there. Owned by different companies. All the way around. I see stages. And stuff back here. These on the floor are QR codes. So if you scan it with your phone, it'll tell you some, some interesting photos. There's loads of them. I think there's about one. Quite a few. Very good. You gonna scan the QR code? Nope. This one low. Wow. So they're gonna do it from here. Once they finish up only they'll go park your lobbies all outside. We use this a bit for storage space as well as you can see staging, um, alcohol is nicely locked up over there, you can see that nice and safe. Um, this is where the artist's entrance, well I'll take you to their entrance very very shortly. 2010, Kings of Leon did their absolute best to uh, burn down this area just here, they turned mm -hmm. up on a big American style tour bus, um, they left the bus parked up here and generator on the bus with fire and sent the bus on fire and almost set the rest of the arena on fire. Mm -hmm. Only minimal damage, they managed to put it out, yeah. they did have to cancel the show, evacuate the arena and stuff like that. So since then we don't actually let any large vehicles park back, they've always got parked outside. Yeah. It was fine though, both were good headlines, you know, sex on fire, bus on fire, that's mm -hmm. all. Yeah. Look at all the booze. So much alcohol. Yep. Signed by Phil Taylor. That's an actual UFC belt at the end there. If anyone wants a photo taken with it, more than welcome to. You can pick it up as well, put it over your shoulder, put it around your waist. Just don't try and run off with it. <laughs> Super chin. Daryl Gurney, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, super chin. Super chin. Yep. That's the first one from 2000, ooh, oh, whenever it was first held here. 2010. 2010. So it's been here uh, 10 years. It's 10th it's year this year. Locker rooms. Twenty twelve. I've been trying to set them up. Two thousand seventeen, like the anniversary. Winner! Ask for some of these. What's the craziest thing you've had asked for? Uh, some of these are pretty. Pretty out there. Uh, the other one, one of my favourites was Jessie J. She asked for 500 blue M&Ms, mm. which isn't that crazy, but also it seems a bit excessive, really, to be honest. Um, some of these ones, uh, video games and the sumo suits, that's One Direction, so they asked for those. Uh, the Starbucks, that's Ariana Grande, she wanted that one. 
the chicken wings, is it Sheeran? Huh? Sheeran with the 12 chicken wings. Uh, the, what's the other one? Oh yeah, the small plate of non-smelly cheese on ice is Lady Gaga. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Uh, the white drapes, flowers, candles, couches, Mariah Carey, she loves everything to be white or decorated white. The hot water in the electric tea kettle is Adele. That's what she asked for when she was here. Oh, too sweet memorabilia. You can come out. That's all <laughs> Wow. Awesome. What kind of box? Cardboard box? Yeah, cardboard box. A black box. Nathan is black box. Nathan's black box. <laughs> uh, I'm living in a box. I'm living in a cardboard box. You're gonna buy me a beer? No. Oh. So that's the O2 backstage tour done. What did you think? It was awesome! It was brilliant. So it was good. So so good. I ended up just asking loads of sports questions. Yeah, the point guy didn't know the answer to it. He didn't know the answer to it. No, but it was really, really good. It was only £25 a person. 20. 20. 20. Um, per person. And you get to film everything and video and picture and everything for one room. The fab room, which yeah. is the football. Oh, fucking awesome backstage room. Yeah. Um, and it lasts like an hour and a half, and they're only doing it while they're shut. So if you see this, hopefully, it will still be doing it. So come you can go. Yes, definitely go. Definitely go. Yeah. Sean's okay. filming. This is the last weekend. When you see this, you can't do it anymore. So oh. I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh well, I'm glad you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs, Good thumbs up. up. Don't forget to comment. Leave some comments down below. But for this vlog, we'll see, see you in the, the next one. one.